Back to our coverage now of the pause that has been ordered of the use of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine as a precaution while scientists investigate blood clots suffered by six women. Yeah, the medical community still recommends that people get the Pfizer or Moderna vaccine. In the meantime, News 4 Jack's consumer investigator Lauren Verno shows us how the available vaccines differ. So these are the four most common vaccines available right now. Johnson & Johnson, Pfizer and Moderna. These three vaccines were approved by the FDA for use in the U.S. Now, AstraZeneca has been approved for use in other parts of the world, but not here in the U.S., primarily over concerns of potential blood clot issues, similar to the six cases in Johnson & Johnson's. Now, here's where each of the vaccines line up and how they work. So let's start with Johnson & Johnson right here. They use a weakened version of a virus called adenovirus. Then you have Pfizer and Moderna. They use that mRNA technology. And then take a look at AstraZeneca. You'll notice they also use the adenovirus. Now, if you've never heard of that before, the adenovirus is actually very common in the vaccine world. It's been used in tuberculosis, HIV and flu, HIV and flu vaccines for years. So I asked Duval County Medical Society Foundation President Dr. Sunil Joshi to explain how that technology works. What they do with the um, Johnson & Johnson vaccine is they use a vector with the adenovirus, which is actually a part of the virus that is inactive, um, and they put in the protein that's important for, in this case, the spike protein uh, for COVID-19 into that vector so that it can get into cells um, easily. And once that happens, the body is triggered to create antibodies, which in this case would be COVID-19. Now, on the other hand, Pfizer and Moderna, they use mRNA technology, which does not use any virus, dead or alive. But instead, it sends directions to the cells to create those spiked proteins. Now, Dr. Joshi says AstraZeneca and Johnson & Johnson, their vaccines are actually very similar. But if you are hesitant about getting the vaccine, after the announcement about those blood clots, it should not deter you from getting Pfizer and Moderna's vaccine because, well, they're completely different and they have a higher effective rate. Tom, Mary. Thank you, Lauren. And to stay up to date on the latest vaccine headlines, sign up for our free newsletter delivered right to your inbox. Just head to newsforjax.com newsletters.